Good Saturday morning to you. We finally got the tree crew out here. They're gonna thin this thing out and give it some good shape. But I will let them have their space and do their thing. Uh, and eventually at some point we're gonna hear a chipper as they uh, grind up all of the branches. So it's gonna be tough on that chipper. Anyway, I wanna get to this uh, front corner here on an overcast day. This is like perfect weather for doing this. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out a bunch of this uh, snake plant, uh, making some room. I'm then gonna, there's a whole patch of it back here too. Basically gonna work it along the uh, wall there. That's the plan for the snake plant. Uh, there's still some more snake plant on the side, uh, actually over by where they're cutting right now. But uh, that'll clear some stuff out of here that way. Basically, I need to make room to move things around, and that's what I'm going to do. Let's get going. a little different doesn't it uh, we're got back to the game of sliding tiles uh, um, like the square that has all but one tile and you got to try and get it in order um, what I've got here is these red disc shaped succulents um, they're in my way I don't want to completely get rid of them but the only real temporary storage I have for them is uh, where I'm keeping the extra nasturtiums right now. So the plan is uh, to go free those up by replacing the one nasturtium that didn't make it when uh, I planted them as a trap crop in the side. So I'm going to go take care of that now. Before that though, just a quick check on the pepper tree. You can see the, see the guy up there in the near the top of the tree. Oh, looks like he's about to cut down that tall one. I can hear the saw, but I don't know if you can hear it over the crows. All right, that might take him a couple of minutes. So we'll check in again later. Okay, it's taken a bit more thinking, but I, I have a little bit more of a plan. Like I said, it's going to change as I go. I kind of need to pull some things out to kind of see what I'm working with. And part of the change here is I think I'm going to try and save the birds of paradise. If they don't uh, live, then oh well. Um, but I'll try and arrange them such a way that if one of them dies, I can just yank it out and then it'll still look presentable. Um, and I think I'm going to kind of do this in layers, so here we go. Checking in. I'd call that a pretty serious diet. <laughs> wow, they've cut a lot out of that tree. You can see the pile down below, and I guess they'll chip it. That'll get rid of it. I heard the chainsaw not all that long ago, uh, but I'm still working over there. So, back to it.
as the guys wrap up trimming that tree, so am I. Uh, I'm going to call it quits for the day. But I did get the uh, snake plant up along the wall. Actually, now that I look at it, there's a... I'll probably get it a little closer, kind of... That's a little hard to see. Right in there, I could use a little bit more, but I'll leave that for tomorrow. Um, I've got a couple other things to figure out in terms of the overall plan, but uh, yeah, that's it for today. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Good Sunday morning to you. It's, uh, I kind of overdid things yesterday, so uh, once again, the uh, puzzle with the shifting tiles. Uh, as I'm thinking about what I need to do here, I want to get these rocks rearranged. I am going to be careful today. Uh, I want to get them rearranged, but uh, I have to get some of the red stuff out of there. Uh, I don't want to just toss all of the uh, mulch that's in here, although we're going to remulch the beds soon anyway. So I need to make a space to put the extra mulch so I can kind of rake this stuff out and make just make it that much better for moving stuff around. So that's the first thing I got to do. Then uh, I may go walking with a friend and then come back and see if there's any time and energy left to move the rocks. Okay, so I just kind of got going without uh, setting up the camera. So I cleared out the actual uh, leaves, needles, whatever you call them, from this pine-ish tree. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Anyway, cleaned a bunch of that out so that uh, I could just rake back. And so I've got a pile of the uh, mulch there and another pile of mulch. It doesn't look wonderful, uh, but I just didn't want to completely waste it. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I've got a bird of paradise here, a couple of agaves, and another bird over here. I'm going to actually dig these up and just move them back, get, getting them out of the way, which will make room for me to be able to try and deal with the uh, rocks here. And I've got to decide exactly how I'm going to position them before I go to the effort of actually doing that because especially this one is going to be really hard to move. But let me just set up and see how far I can get. glad I left those yellow flags up. Uh, I was able to kind of figure out again, it was about 40 inches from the corner in a radius there. Uh, and then the uh, orange flags are just to kind of mark roughly where the rocks are going to go. Because uh, I just kind of wanted to see visually how it would look to have one curve going one way and another curve going the other way, if that kind of makes sense. The orange flags will be kind of like a circle around the tree and the yellow flags will be a quarter circle from the corner there. So I'm hoping that kind of makes sense. Um, I'm debating how much to try and do in terms of moving the rocks. Uh, I've got to do some digging to try and prepare for the rocks just to have a, an area to place them. I've also got to check the roots of the tree and just make sure that I'm actually going to be able to place the rocks. So. Uh, yeah, actually, I think I got to dig first just to kind of see where I'm going to land. And from there, we'll go, we'll see where we go.
And I think I'm going to call it quits for the day. Let's go down into the street and kind of give you the street view of... Now hopefully it makes a little bit more sense what I'm attempting to do here. Actually, now that I look at it, that one on the left could probably come forward a little bit more. But I'm not going to quibble over that right now. Uh, and then ultimately uh, I'll build that wall that I'm talking about where the yellow flags are. That's why everything is cleared out right now. It's just so that I can make room for all the construction I've got to do before I replant everything. But I am a little concerned about... Uh, I'm not concerned about the agaves being out of the ground. They'll be fine for a couple of days. It's the birds of paradise. And then I realized I have my temporary storage back behind the green can. I have another bird of paradise there. So i got to figure out how I'm going to fit everything in there. Um, I'm thinking between the rocks and over to the left to kind of soften the uh, the view of that transformer. I'm going to put the agaves and then behind the rocks I'll put the uh, birds of paradise and then I'm going to have an extra bit of room over there. Actually I could probably leave the one that's already planted over there. I could just leave it there. Then I'm not disturbing it. It has a chance to grow. It is a little close to this palm but uh, anyway more for me to think about and figure out but uh, I'm going to be smart. That's it for today. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Good Monday morning to you folks. Yeah, overdid it a little bit again yesterday, just moving those rocks. Uh, so I'm out a little bit later, but after looking at the video while editing, I'm realizing that middle rock needs to turn just slightly, and maybe the one on the left could come forward just a bit. Other than that, uh, what I'm hoping to do today is get a little of the planting done, uh, getting things back into the ground so they don't suffer because it's Monday now. Come Wednesday, we are looking at approaching 100 degrees in April. <laughs> um, so let's just get cranking and get some stuff done. Okay, let's see if we can't zoom back out. Why won't it go all the way out? There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, typical. Um, that is what it's looking like now, except for the final cleanup and watering everything in. But uh, unfortunately, there's a bit of shade that kind of messes with it. But hopefully it's 
kind of obvious what I was doing there. So now I've got kind of a quarter circle running that way. And I'm gonna have to figure out the irrigation behind it, but ultimately all of that irrigation will go behind those rocks and anything in front of the rocks will be basically desert landscape. Uh, doesn't, not requiring any additional water, um, just whatever happens to fall out of the sky. So with that, I've done enough for the day. I'm gonna take it easy now and that's it. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Good Tuesday morning to ya. Let's, uh, yeah. I'm looking at the tangerine tree thinking before I get too much else done and before the heat hits and just fries all the rest of these. I'm gonna see if I can get some more of these off. Um, I do have an area down below that's a bit flatter than it used to be. I might take a little bit of a risk with the ladder. Um, it's really... I keep falling off. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Let's take a shot at this. Okay, that's probably enough risk taking for the day. And mom's been busy back here. I think I mentioned this previously that she was going to be back here working, trying to get you an angle without so much glare. So you can see all the flowers she's planted. And I need to. Well, okay, there we go. We kind of got it without too much glare. Uh, yeah. So, on the side yard now, we've got a bunch of stuff that's just been moved around. Time to organize a bit. And just as I'm getting ready to come out here and do a little something, Along with taking out the trash, the water is rolling down the street again. I'm hoping that comes through. I don't know what's going on that somebody has to keep dumping water into the street in the middle of a drought. It doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, I'm making an effort here. You know, granted, I've got a garden on the side, but I'm making an effort here to improve the landscape and improve the irrigation so we can kind of keep it alive, but with a minimum of water. So, you know, the place doesn't look horrible, but I just don't get it. And some people just seem to, it's, it doesn't matter to them, but believe me, it does matter. So anyway, enough soapbox, onto this. I gotta do some digging here, get ready for putting the blocks in.
And as it occurs to me that I'm a little bit, I was a little bit out of frame there, but hopefully it's a little bit more obvious what I'm going for now. I had to excavate out enough to be able to get the footings in for those blocks. They're going to be up just a little bit higher than the existing border, much like that is right there. So that kind of ties things together a little bit. Uh, yeah, so I have to leave space for the footings. I wanted to put some of the soil back in just in case somebody decides to walk along here between now and me getting that done. Uh, just so it's not a huge trip hazard, but I'm also going to put up the orange flags just as a sort of a warning that there's something going on here. Um, and uh, yeah, I got to clean up. I think that's enough for today. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Good Wednesday morning. It's about a quarter past seven and time to deal with the pool. Uh, I've been chasing this for a while, trying to get the chemical levels just right before I attack it because of the algae problem. So I wanted to document this. wanted to get... Uh, I'm actually going to record in real time instead of doing the time lapse and then I'll figure out what to do in editing. But this is the stuff that we're going to put in that we've used before called yellow out. Um, and basically the idea is I put about half this bottle in there uh, and then five minutes later I throw in two pounds of shock or two pounds of granulated uh, chlorine. Uh, all that was really available locally was shock. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. And if I'm right, I have a feeling there's going to be kind of a foaming of the pool. That's why I wanted to record this in real time. So here we go. Uh, I've already shaken the bottle to get rid of any clumps. I'm going to open it for the first time. Standing back behind here. Let's see. Oh, yep. It has a seal on the top. I'll get rid of that and let's get cranking. See, there's lumps in there now, but hopefully that'll break it up. Nope, I can still hear them. All right. Now it does say uh, any any rem well, basically it says to put about one pound. I probably put about a pound and a half doing that. The remainder is going to go back along this side because that's the worst of it. So. Seven twenty. Now we wait five minutes. Okay, here we go. Well, I don't see any reaction happening. Um, there are warnings on the bottle and on the website that say not to mix it in a pail. Uh, basically, don't mix it in higher concentration. Uh, you want to mix it in the pool, otherwise it'll have a very strong reaction. Well, I'm not seeing that reaction here. Maybe it'll develop over time, um, but I guess I'll shut down here and uh, 
we'll go take a look at the garden. Uh, if anything does happen, I'll catch it on security camera. But before we do that, let's wrap up a couple of things. Uh, the plan was originally that I was going to go ahead and uh, pour the concrete footings and put the blocks in here. But as it turns out today, it's supposed to approach 100, and tomorrow and Friday, it's supposed to go over 100. So uh, after looking it up, because uh, I'm not really a concrete expert, so I did a little research, and it turns out at like 100 degrees, that stuff's going to go off in a couple of hours. It's not going to be the strongest, um, although I suppose theoretically I could bury it, which would keep it a little bit cooler because ultimately it's going to get buried. But I'm just going to choose to wait until at least Saturday to do this. So I'll throw some water on here. Um, I'm also going to have to rework the irrigation. I think I mentioned that a couple of times. I kind of have a plan for that. I'm still working on that. So it's an opportunity for more planning. Uh, meanwhile, we haven't really looked at the garden this episode, so let's see. Uh, these are just sort of sitting off to the side, and I did notice, well, maybe it didn't survive there. I, I think there was a bean up there, but uh, I'm probably going to plant some more seeds just so I have backups, get that taken care of. Um, oops, got a couple of oranges down in the garden here. The transplanted nasturtium seems to be holding up fairly well. Uh, the salad planters, I guess is what I'm going to call them, these raised beds, it looks like it's mostly just, well, interesting. Because uh, these should be carrots up along here, but they don't really look like carrots, so I'm guessing that's their actual salad greens. Then, yeah, more carrots up along here, but maybe that right there is a carrot uh, maybe right there but the rest of it is the uh, let's see which one is it the Easter egg radish that seems to be doing fairly well uh, moving over to the opposite side there's even more growth in here but remember we've got the Easter egg in the back we got the French breakfast in the middle and then we got another carrot up along here and these don't really look like carrot leaves. Actually, this looks more like a radish. Huh, interesting. All right, so maybe some of the radish seeds got moved around when I did things, or maybe when it rained, it just kind of pummeled it hard enough to do that. Anyway, those are doing okay. Uh, more nasturtium doing well. Nasturtium doing well. Existing plants doing well. Uh, let's see. Interesting. This is supposed to be dill and cucumber, and it looks like the dill is starting to pop here. Uh, we've got, yeah, the bean plant's getting a little bit bigger here. This is a uh, bush bean contender. Uh, bush bean basically means it's going to be more like a bush instead of a vine. It's not going to go all over the place. That's why I chose to do a bush bean this year. Um, but I also have up here, I'm going to have the patty pan and the yard long beans. Uh, over here, oh, I think we've got something happening. Uh, I have the eight ball squash, which is in the middle there, but it looks like the spinach giant noble is starting to grow. So that's a good thing. Uh, I've got lakeside spinach in here. I don't see a whole lot happening. And a straight neck squash. I need to fix that tag there. I can, almost can't read it. Then, yeah, let's just go up and take a look at that. It's so nice to be able to do this when I couldn't do it last year. Uh, the two pepper plants seem to be doing okay. Uh, looks almost like this one got chewed on or, yeah, it needs some water. Um, I haven't been watering, I didn't water on Monday or today because of the work we're doing in the back, but I'm going to throw some water on these. I just wanted to get up here and take a look before I did that. 
Uh, the two newest seeds have not popped yet, and the flowers have not popped yet on the onion. Actually, this one's looking like a bigger bud, so that'll be interesting to see. Let's see, we've got a tomato that's doing well, and a couple of uh, bell peppers that are doing well. They're not fully grown yet, but it's only been a couple of weeks. So, yeah, we're doing good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here. Uh, it turns out with all the heat, it's going to be really hard for me to shoot anything. So, I may not be back until Saturday to start the next video. We'll see. I'll try and use the uh, security camera to give you an update on the pool. And with that, take care of yourselves. Take care of the ones around you. And may your thumb be green.